In this video, we will be developing a moment axial load interaction diagram for the shown section um, using a column interaction diagram uh, spreadsheet uh, that you'll be provided. Um, so first you can see the inputs are highlighted in blue. So those are going to be the ones that we'll need to fill in. Um, then we have a section of outputs with our data including the steel stress in each one of the uh, uh, layers of reinforcement and the nominal moment and nominal axial force. Then we have the steel strain in the extreme fiber, the phi factor associated with that point, and then the uh, design moment and axial force, which will be factored uh, appropriately. All right, so for our section, our overall depth is 30 inches. So we'll input that. Our F prime C, we're told, is 5 KSI. Uh, the depth to our last row of steel is 30 inches minus 2.5 inches, so 27.5 inches. And then finally, our width is 20 inches. OK, now we need to input our uh, different um, reinforcement information. So we have. Uh, our first layer of steel is located uh, two and a half inches down, so 2.5 inches down. And the total area of steel there is four number nine bars, so four square inches. Our next layer of steel is 10 inches down, and we have a total area of two inches. The next layer, 20 inches down, we have an area of two inches again, two square inches. And then the final layer, is uh, 27.5 inches down, so we add that, and we have an area of 4 inches. So um, now we have uh, all our input done, so we can look and see uh, our data. So if we wanted to uh, output into a graph our unfactored or factored diagrams, we could do that. Um, we also have a plot uh, that's available. So you can see here, uh, the upper limit is uh, governed by our minimum eccentricity limit. Then we have our 0 0.65, 0 0.65, balance point, transition from our balance point to our attention controlled point. So we get the bottle nose of the, uh, the bottle nose dolphin. And then uh, it comes down with uh, 0.9 um, between our uh, tension controlled point and um, our pure tension axial. So uh, if we were doing an actual design and wanted to output, we could add in all of our information um, here. So here we have um, 4, 8, 12, number 9 bars with 5,000 PSI concrete. Our B is 20, and our H is 30. And uh, we can also add in uh, factored demand if we want. So let's say we have a, a couple different points. So let's say we have a 10,000 uh, kip inch moment with a 500 um, kip force. Let's say we have 500 kip inch moment with a 1500 kip force. Let's have a 6,000 kip inch moment with an 800. Uh, kip force, and then finally let's have a 7,000 uh, kip inch moment with a 1,000 kip force. So we can come to our factor diagram and we can see the different points and where they lie. Um, so we can see that in this case all of our uh, factored um, moments and axial load combinations fall within our uh, interaction diagram so our column would have uh, sufficient strength. Um, so that's how you, uh, how you use this uh, design sheet um, for designing your columns.